Hey guys, Richard here. So just taking uh, Toby for his last walk, show you around a little bit. The uh, first squall line is about upon us. So according to the radar, it's just a few miles away, but right now it is nice and peaceful out here. And uh, you can see what's going on behind me over here. The trees are barely moving, but it is a nasty looking squall line. And it's gonna be on us real quick. I'll show you what that looks like here in just a couple of minutes. And there's Toby. Toby, 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 Toby. Say hi. Say hi. There he is. All right, and since we were just walking Toby, I uh, might as well show you what the uh, the plan is um, for later today, tonight, and into tomorrow. So that is the Toby patch. Yeah, you can see what we did here. So what I do is I take a like a large contractor trash bag or leaf bag and lay it out on the floor. And then put down one of these doggy training pads. It's an absorbent pad. And we got the extra large size, so it's nice and big there. And then I pick up two pieces of sod and lay it on top of that. So Toby, when it's time to go, uh, you know, he's gonna get excited here in a few hours and wanna go out again. So I'll take him to the front door. I'll put the leash on him, open up the front door. And when those, you know, 50, 75 mile an hour winds hit him in the face, He's going to turn and look, at me, look up at me and say, like, hey, what is this all about? Uh, you, you're out of your mind if you think I'm going out there. Then I'll walk him in here on the leash. And when he smells the grass and sniffs the grass, he's on the leash. He puts two and two together, and then he'll do his business here. It worked fine for us in years past, so that's the plan for this year. So that is our Toby patch. All right, guys, just looked at the radar again, and according to radar, the squall line is just a few minutes out. Um, you know, it's just a few miles away, so it should be here upon us in just a couple of minutes. So I'm going to stand out here and wait for the arrival of our first squall line. People out here still monkeying around and doing stuff up there, cleaning stuff up, letting the kids play. Got somebody over there running power equipment. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're trying to put up shutters or something at the last minute. So the uh, arm shifted. It's going further north now. So yesterday we were going to get um, you know, 110 mile an hour winds in this area. And now we're supposed to get up to 75 mile an hour gusts, but it'll probably remain, you know, 40, uh, 50 mile an hour winds. Uh, but we'll see. Oh yeah, there's the noise. I just realized what's going on. So there's a neighbor down there putting up storm, uh, storm windows or storm shutters. So I better get with it because they've only got minutes left. Yeah. I don't know why some people wait till the last minute to get things done. But the wind is starting to get a little breezy here. I feel it uh, blowing around. Can't see it too much in the trees. Let's look at the palm trees. They're always the first indicator. There they are. Starting to rustle a little bit. Yeah, it'll be here momentarily. What's he doing down there? Let's zoom in. Somebody else way down there doing something. I think he's. He's doing something down there. Maybe storm related, maybe not. He might be just out there doing yard work. And what do we have here? What is he doing? That's my neighbor, Tom. Now, Tom is legally blind, so he can't drive, but he does a lot of yard work for folks here in the neighborhood. He's also the one that purchased the Zora Master cargo bike, the orange one that I had. He is loving it because it's giving him some new freedom of getting uh, down to the corner, corner store and that sort of thing. What is he doing? He didn't check the radar before he started coming out here. He's going to go cut somebody's lawn or something, but he's quickly going to find out that he's out of time. Maybe they're going to tell him right now. Hopefully they're telling him. He'll figure it out here momentarily. <laughs> He'll get wet on the way back to his house. He lives in the other direction, so I know he's not going home. <laughs> okay, 
Tom wasn't looking at the radar and he was headed out to cut three more lawns, but I just showed him the radar and he said, okay, never mind. He said, I need to go talk to this lady right down the street and I'm headed to the house. Yeah, it's because uh, you don't have much time left there, Tom. You better hurry up. <laughs> so I just looked at future radar and I was wrong. It was moving a little slower than I thought. So instead of just a few minutes away, it was actually about 20 minutes away. So I grabbed Toby real quick, put him on his leash so he can uh, just hang out here with me the garage opening and uh yeah we'll just wait for the arrival of this thing so yeah anyway so what else is going on here so we got plants in off the patio i got those up here on my, on my desk that one's not doing too well huh it's probably not gonna make it this one is doing quite well so we like that one but yeah so and i already showed you the toby patch over here just got a few uh um Got my American flag laying across the table there. We got the uh, patio table and umbrellas that badly need to be replaced because they're so faded. Those things lasted a year. Those are brand new. Those are bright blue, kind of like royal blue. You know, the kind that kind of protects people from lasers if you follow that at all. Yeah, these aren't royal blue anymore, but uh, yeah. So, got all the bikes tucked away in the corner there. I've got my Ingway that I need to get opened up. And I deliberately tried to leave myself a little space here in the garage to work with. So maybe I can, during a storm, if I get bored and there's nothing going on, maybe I'll come out here and I'll try to get that unboxed at least. Still have my power stations up, uh, ready to go. I kind of touched on that in a short video and I had some people asking me about that. So I think what I'm going to do, guys, watch out for the video. But I think I'm going to do a, a special video just on this power, these power stations. Because this is applicable to pretty much everybody, especially if you have e-bikes, right? If you have e-bikes and there's some type of a natural disaster or disruption in the power grid or something you may need to rely on your e-bike in order to get you around it'd be a good idea to have some type of power station to uh to charge it with yeah so that's a video i was thinking about making i had a, another request recently that i was thinking about maybe making uh, uh while i'm kind of cooped up here at home and someone was asking me about making videos and how i do my videos and the different equipment that i use so i might might make a video specifically talking about that a little bit uh you know just uh trying to fill the time give you guys some content let you know how we're doing yeah i don't know we'll see might have to make a video of me mopping up the floor and you know putting shingles back on the roof that sort of thing too you never quite can tell oh let's look at the sky okay so it's getting closer so you see the skies back over there are starting to get really dark now. So it is moving in over here on us here pretty quick. The biggest threat that we're going to have, um, since this hurricane moved a little bit, since we've got lower lower winds, it's not the full hurricane force winds, but uh, since it's going to be a little bit lower, our biggest threat now is tornadoes, because hurricanes do produce a lot of tornadoes. And Florida has already known for having a lot of tornadoes. So that's our biggest threat. Um, you know the winds we can deal with these lower winds we can deal with I should put it that way what's that what's going on down there is that Tom again he hasn't come back through no I guess he's trying to get I guess he's trying to get one yard done hey who knows maybe he'll get it done he's got about another 15 minutes according to future radar So things are moving along faster now. Let's see if you can catch the cloud movements up there. It's starting to, they're starting to move in pretty fast. Look at a stationary object like that house. They're starting to move on in here pretty quick. What's interesting is I don't hear any thunder yet. I thought we'd be hearing thunder and stuff. Not hearing any thunder at all. So I don't know. Interesting. Interesting.
So that's looking interesting right there. That's, that almost looks like clouds trying to stack up and do something right there. We'll keep an eye on that for just a quick second here. Kind of crazy. The rain is about to hit, so we don't see a whole lot of rain. I mean, these are dark clouds. I'm not seeing a whole lot of rain there, but that looks like I'm going to get more gray, so that's looking like rain, and it's coming from over there, and that's, I think that's rain, so we're, we're about to get pelted here. So, clouds are definitely moving a lot faster now. Moving much faster. So this is the line right here, getting ready to roll over us. dark out here starting to feel the breeze you can see the trees starting to get a little more a little more active look how fast those clouds are starting to move there and there's a whizzing on by I don't know how well it shows up in video, but yep. All right, continues to get dark. That's that strange cloud formation that was kind of stacked up there for a little bit. It's kind of doing something different now. I just felt a couple of raindrops. Yep. The raindrops coming down now. Starting to see it on the truck a little bit. Oh, there's a big breeze. There we go. Now it's starting to kick up. Hurricane Idalia, one of our outer bands. You got the neighbor's tree over there. Kicking and blowing. Oh, here we go. Here's somebody getting a last minute ride in. Good for you guys. Get home while you can. So the temperature just dropped about 10 degrees. So that's kind of cool too. And those frontal systems move in like that. Well, that's, seeing, that's interesting. We, this may not be a rainmaker here, that squall line, because now it looks like the sky is light, lightening up back there. So the squall line is this one that just came over, went away from us. We got the wind, but didn't get any rain out of it yet. Just a few drops. Oh well, let's let's spy on our neighbors again real quick before I have to go in. So that neighbor got one shutter up on the front of the house, but nothing on the, the sides of the house. Rain's coming down. Tom is starting to. Now I don't know really what. To, <laughs> I don't know what the purpose is of trying to blow off the sidewalk, Tom. I think you can probably skip that part. Alright, here comes the rain, guys. Gotta step in. Woo! Yeah, Toby. Hey, there's Toby. He's still hanging out. He's like, man, I'm not sure about the. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> ah, there it comes. There she comes again. Listen, I can't carry a tune. 
Tom, I tell you what, he's a dedicated man. I think I still hear that. I still hear that leaf blower down there, I believe. <laughs> he's such a funny guy. He's super nice. I tell you what, he's just, he's super nice. I like him a lot. That wasn't much of a rain. <laughs> I hear I hear's lawnmower, so he's gonna boot scoot right past here now. As fast as what the little thing will carry him. There he is. He's coming around the corner from over there on the other side of that house. I don't know if he wants me to film him, so I'm not gonna film him go by. There he comes. <laughs> Didn't catch it on, on video, but as he rolled by, he happily smiled and said, Hey, I got one done. <laughs> so uh, as he rolled by earlier, he was talking to me, telling me he's trying to get three done. But he got one done, so good for him. And he's a little wet. So it got calm again. The wind's blowing a little bit, not much. The rain stopped already. So that maybe, maybe that's all we get out of that squall line. We'll have to see where the next one's lining up. Okay, well that didn't take long. That was only about two minutes from the time I shut the video camera off. And here we go again. I was just talking to my neighbor who just ran home real fast right there. And we got another line coming through. I was checking the uh, radar and it, that actually wasn't really the squall line. It was like, that was, uh, just some clouds in front of the squall line so the squall line is just about on top of us here and that's why it started raining again the winds picking up again you can see it's starting to starting to get windy toby's over here just hanging out saying well what is all this about dad i don't know so earlier he walked over here and was sniffing he was poking around and sniffing and i thought okay so he he's probably getting the idea because he probably remembers right so we'll see. Oh, I just looked at radar again and couldn't. Oh, look, look at my neighbors. What are they doing over there? Well, they decided to take in their potted plants to uh, blow away. That's a good idea. We uh, released a video yesterday, just kind of rode around the neighborhood yesterday afternoon looking, and we didn't see anybody that had shutters up. and. So had a lot of saw a lot of people that had stuff laying around in the, the yard and they hadn't picked up their patio furniture and stuff yet some people wait to the last minute but that's all right that's how we learn i guess so according to future radar i just looked at it again that squall line is like it's like right here it's like almost here like super super close and it was all orange and red so it looked nasty so I'm guessing here in just a couple minutes we're gonna the skies are gonna open up. But we have moments, we are moments away. Oop, I hear the wind blowing over here. Could this be it? Could this be it? Oh the excitement's getting to me. The energy in the air. Tell you what. Oops. Going crazy with my camera here. There. Maybe. I don't know, maybe not. Interesting thing. Now it doesn't look like those clouds are, are moving much at all. So they must be higher up or something. So while I wait for that squall line to come over the top of this just a shout out to Mike's weather page Mike is a uh, just a weather enthusiast blogger um, he has been tracking the weather since like 2004 and he's not allowed to report on the weather in other words he's not able to give forecasts and predictions and that sort of thing but um, here's his website but uh, he's got oh, something like a million and a half followers on Facebook he's got a bunch on Instagram TikTok, and YouTube because he's super good at what he does. And he doesn't have a degree or a diploma. Or excuse me, he doesn't have a college degree. He's not a meteorologist. 
Um, <clears throat> he has been featured on the Weather Channel. He's been featured on um, the Florida Emergency Management. Uh, he just did an interview with them yesterday. They all turned to Mike to see what his insight is because he is really good at taking the data and then interpreting it. And uh, he, he, uh, he's, he's good, he's good. He talks about things that the weather forecasters don't talk about. You know, he'll, uh, he'll mention it, he'll bring it up. And oftentimes when he's sharing his gut feelings, he's right. And he'll be predicting things a couple of days in advance. And he'll say, this is what, this is what I think it's gonna do and this is why, and yeah, he's just really good. So uh, he's, he's gained a lot of respect from a lot of folks. But uh, just a shout out to Mike's weather, weather page because he is a great guy doing a great service. And he also does storm chasing. So you can find him over there on YouTube. You can find him on his Facebook page here. He'll be st storm chasing throughout this, uh, this hurricane. All right, guys. So it's been a little while. And we keep getting these, uh, these feeder bands coming through. You know, these outline bands of rain and wind. But nothing serious at all by any means. This is nothing more than a spring thunderstorm. But, uh, the, you know, the hurricane hasn't reached us yet. I mean, as it passes by, it's going to get uglier out here. We should get some much higher winds. Um, of course, it's staying out in the Gulf, but when it starts getting parallel with where we're at, that's when we expect that uh, things will get nasty for a little while. But so far, um, no large wind gusts or anything that we've been able to tell, so it's been pretty nice. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and probably end this video here because... Um, yeah, it's going to get dark in a little while, and then we won't be able to show anything anyway. So we're going to call it good for this one. But hey, you know, I'm going to get inside and start working on another video. Because uh, I'm going to go ahead and give a uh, make a detailed video, I think, about my power stations and the things that we're doing and how we will weather the storm if the electricity were to go out later. So that'll be a little more detailed. But, uh, and then after that, I'm going to start working on that anyway uh, unboxing video probably. So... Yeah, I've got something to keep me busy for the next, so, you know, day and a half, two days. Whatever it takes this weather to clear up. But yeah, so that's going to be it for this one. So give me a thumbs up if you like it. And if you have any questions, drop them down below. Appreciate the support for all the comments that I've received from people, all the well wishes. I really appreciate that. I certainly do. And uh, sure hope that all those who are in directly in the storm's path, I uh, hope they are safe as well. That's going to be it for this video. Until the next one, be safe.